Well, here we are, Casino Monte Carlo. Our final stop, one of the best runs ever. Scandiera was amazing. Oaf chose a perfect name for Scandiera. Scandinavia and the French Riviera. 11 exciting days. Hamburg, uh, Amsterdam, uh, even Monaco. We had so many people coming. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Autobahn. That was the most, one of the most important highlights. How could I forget? Well, we had the honor in driving one of our friends, uh, Omar al uh, McLaren 570S and we reached a whopping 212 miles, 342 kilometers. That was epic, me screaming in the video. I don't think I'll ever do that again. That was the fastest speed I ever reached in my life. I got an exclusive tour in the Chopard factory. That was like something anyone would dream of. We were really shocked that they surprised us by making us 25 limited edition Supercars Club Arabia Chopard chronograph watches. I luckily got number one out of Supercars Club Arabia is becoming something unbelievable. It's a phenomenon. I don't know how to say it. It feels so good closing down the roads just for our club. Uh, having all the people stand outside taking pictures. It's just like the feeling of being a celebrity. Here's <laughs> Ofi, the star of Supercars Club Arabia. Without him, there won't be a Supercars Club Arabia existing. We're going through a mountain road, so it'll be on and off, on and off. Without Ofi, we cannot have done any of this. What you need to do today is put the walkie talkie somewhere where you cannot click the button. You just listen. You just listen. So let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. and these are all rumors, don't believe any of it. I don't know these people. So all in all, I really wish Scandier didn't end so fast. The 11 days passed so fast, we couldn't even count the days. There's always other events. We'll see you next time in the Gulf. We're here, our cars are here, everybody's happy. The line is up. Welcome to Monaco. <laughs> So we've got quite a long driving day today. Um, the first fuel stop is in 60 kilometers. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's go. Lovely morning in Annecy. It's the last day of Scandiera, and we are heading to Monaco. And the closing ceremony will be later on today. So everyone is excited. Ten, 10 days we've been out and about. Always good seeing the boys. Being able to call them brothers and family means a lot. We did get pulled over by cops, uh, I think twice, so they were both in Germany. But it wasn't for speeding or anything, it was just for them for checking up on our documents and paperwork. And the most important thing about these tours is not to drive fast, but to be safe, bring the car community and other people together. It shows that how much love there is for the automotive industry and cars. And yeah, that's the most important thing about these tours is that we meet great people and we go out and we have amazing times together. I came along this trip to uh, capture some photos of the countless beautiful cars and locations. So uh, this was definitely a dream trip, not to mention the great guys this is my first time hearing of Zimvo, but after seeing their facility, meeting their technicians, and seeing the hard work and dedication they put into their cars, I'm extremely impressed, and I'm really looking forward to see what comes with their brand. Koenigsegg is definitely an icon in the automotive industry. Uh, getting to see their factory and see how they create every single piece of carbon from scratch, mold everything together, and it ends into a beautiful piece of machinery and art, and plus, 
All the engines are handmade. Literally everything in the car is built right there. I can't wait to actually shoot a Koenigsegg one day. Probably the coolest and the craziest one was Paris because we pulled up right next to the Eiffel Tower, stopped with like six cars, drew a crowd of a thousand people. Actually, they gave us just enough space to get the photos with the Eiffel Tower behind. Kind of ventured off and found another one right by the river with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Had boats cruising by with amazing lights. It was uh, quite an experience and I can't wait to actually get to work on the photos. So we're in the middle of Amsterdam. Thousands Thousands and thousands of people. We pulled in, so we literally just pulled into the public damn square with about six cars. Really proud of the guys because they fanned themselves out. Amazing. Uh, people rushed us after 60 seconds, but uh, we managed to get photos in the middle of damn square in the afternoon with literally no one in the background because we brought all of them over to the street. He ain't never lie, he ain't never, he ain't never lie Just a little nigga representing from the 305, 30305 Used to roll around up in a 1996 Nissan, 1996 Nissan Bought it from an A-Rap, got robbed three months late on some dumb shit 19 stuntin' on these niggas like a rush shit, I was tryna get it uh, Every single morning took the bus to hit the studio, my nigga, I was living on a mission uh, Thought I was the greatest every minute, I would say I need a record deal, a nigga stay with shit uh, No, you got a chance if you keep it in a hundred. Oh man, oh man, oh man, so true. Couldn't be any more true. I just gotta do what I do. Pray shit will go according to the plans I choose. Actually, the first part of the trip, which is actually going to the Scandinavian countries, was very exciting. Stockholm is a nice ancient city, very calm, quiet. Then when we went to Denmark, it's a little bit different, where it's more modern and uh, wider streets, uh, traffic rules and the speed limits, but the, the autobahn again experience was uh, beautiful. Of course, Shopard was one of our uh, main uh, sponsors. They showed us the whole process of watch making, and the passion that's put in every watch. They have uh, very skilled workers. Their products are just some beautiful pieces of art. This is my second uh, trip with uh, Supercars Club Arabia. Annecy was, was beautiful. It was my first time there. The hotel was also really, really nice. It was overlooking the, the lake. When we went through Hamburg, uh, we drove through the autobahn and we got a chance to push our cars. So I got to experience the, the performance of my car at the maximum. Today was the last day of our trip. Endless uh, fun. And you're the most important guy who was driving safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the safest guy. I'd like to thank our club and members for the new arrangement. Uh, really, we enjoy it. The route today was uh, incredible. The, the scenery in France was the best. I love south of France. We should again do it. Ten days is over. We just arrived in Monaco like two minutes ago when we were the first car to arrive. So technically, I know it's not the race, but we're still number one. These cars were made to be driven on these roads. The hugging the corners, those nice straights, going downhill, going uphill, the, the different views that we saw, the sounds of the engines and the echoes and the canyons were all fantastic. It's such an experience that I really, really, really recommend anybody that has a car just to come out and go for a drive with the club.